ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் அனஸ்தீஷியா ப்ரையர் டு எயிட்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் தேர் வாஸ் நோ வே டு ப்ரொவைட் அனஸ்தீஷியா டு தோஸ் அண்ட் கோயிங் சர்ஜரி சர்ஜரி ரிமைன் த ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் லாஸ்ட் ரெசார்ட் லார்ஜ்லி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தி அசோசியேட்டட் பெயின் ஆலிவர் வெண்டல் ஹோம்ஸ் ஹி காயின் த டேர்ம் அனஸ்தீஷியா இன் எயிட்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் இட் ஒரிஜினேட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த கிரீக் வேர்ட் அனஸ்தெட்டோஸ் அண்ட் மீனிங் வித்வுட் அஸ்தீஷியா மீனிங் சென்சேஷன் in bc and 16th century in the 16th century french military surgeon ambroise pare adopted nerve compression as a means of creating anesthesia anesthesia before ether edwin smith an egyptian surgeon from 3000 to 2500 bc practiced anesthesia by compressing nerve at the site of operation shushruta father of surgery in india induced anesthesia using intoxicants like wine henbane and cannabis His work was also described in Wood Library, the Museum of Anesthesia in 600 BC. He used cannabis vapors to sedate surgical patients. Pedanius Dioscorides, Greek physician, prepared drugs from barks and leaves of mandrake plant, boiled it in wine and strained it. It was used to cause insensibility of those to be cut and cauterized. 9th to 13th century soporific sponge as dominant mode of pain relief during surgery which contains mandrake plants poppy and other herbs boiled together and placed on patient's nose before surgery 16th century laudanum was an alcohol based solution of opium first compounded by paracelsus it was widely popular in victorian and romantic period 17th century pre ether era describes conduct of surgery using opium and aconite in 17th century marco aurelia severino described the technique of refrigeration anesthesia in which snow was placed in parallel line across the incision plane severino failed to maintain stores of snow round the year 18th century eliotson performed hypnosis demonstration in numerous cases of surgical operations without pain in mesmeric state The support for mesmerism faded after invention of ether anesthesia. Developments in the 18th century. Evolution of inhaled anesthesia. Environmental gases were passed through water to eliminate toxic oxides of nitrogen before being stored. Joseph Priestley, an English clerk and scientist in 1773, first prepared nitrous oxide. He was most popularly known for discovery of dephlogisticated air which was later named oxygen by Lavoisier. Thomas Beddows opened his pneumatic institute in the city of Bristol to study the beneficial effects of inhalational gases. He hired Humphrey Davy in 1798 to conduct research projects for institutes. Davy performed brilliant investigations of several gases but focused much of his attention on nitrous oxide. The nitrous oxide experiment. In 1800, Davy first demonstrated analgesic property of nitrous oxide. As nitrous oxide in its extensive operation appears capable of destroying physical pain, it may probably be used with advantage during surgical operation in which no great effusion of blood takes place. He named nitrous oxide as laughing gas for its unique property. Henry Hill Hickman. Henry Hill Hickman experimented with anesthetic property of carbon dioxide in 1820 in animals. The response was on 1826 article in the Lancet title Surgical Humbug. Horace Wells volunteered to inhale nitrous oxide for his own dental extraction in December 1844. He committed suicide. and a chloroform by splashing his femoral artery with razor William E Clark was a medical student from Rochester used ether anesthesia in January 1842 he entertained his companion with nitrous oxide and ether but Clark did not conduct any anesthetic experiment on ether Crawford Williamson is traditionally considered as the first to use ether as an anesthetic in surgery he postulated that diethyl ether produced pharmacological effects similar to nitrous oxide on 30th march 1842 he administered diethyl ether by inhalation to a man named james venable in order to remove cyst from neck but he failed to demonstrate it the ether dome ether demonstration world anesthesia day 
William Thomas Green Morton on October 16, 1846 became first in the world to publicly and successfully demonstrate the use of ether anesthesia. Morton is also called the father of modern anesthesia. The World Anesthesia Day is celebrated on 16th of October every year. It was demonstrated in Bullfinch Amphitheater of Massachusetts General Hospital where Horace Wills failed to demonstrate the efficacy of nitrous oxide. Ether demonstration. Morton provided the anesthesia on a patient named Edward Gilbert Abbott operated by John Collins Warren and the surgery was for the excision of vascular lesion from left side of Abbott's neck. Morton admitted that active component of colored fluid which he called lithium was simply diethyl ether. Abbott said, "Feels as if my neck is being scratched." Warren then turned to his medical audience and uttered, "Gentlemen, this is no humbug." Third inhaler contains large glass consisting of sponge soaked in oil mixed with ether and spout that was placed in patient's mouth an opening on opposite side of the bulb allowed air to enter and drawn over the ether soaked sponge with each breath history of chloroform james young simpson a successful obstetrician in scotland was the one to demonstrate chloroform for the relief of labor pain chloroform became quickly popular for surgeries and dental procedures john snow father of anesthesia and founder of epidemiology he brought obstetric anesthesia into acceptance against religious ethical and medical beliefs by administering chloroform to queen victoria for the births of prince leopold and princess beatrice balanced anesthesia was first described by john lundy in 1926 history of cocaine dr karl koller ophthalmologist and colleague of sigmund freud introduced cocaine as local anesthetic for eye surgeries in 1884 lamba puncture lamba puncture was first introduced in 1891 by the german physician henrich quinke james leonard corning and walter essex winter also demonstrated and used lamba puncture for diagnostic purposes but clinical practice was done by quinke spinal needle that we use today is named after quinke spinal anesthesia dr august beer a german surgeon performed spinal anesthesia at royal hospital university on 16th august 1898 he injected 3 ml of 0.5% cocaine solution for segmental resection of left ankle intravenous regional anesthesia he was also the first to describe intravenous regional anesthesia the bias block in 1908 Bayer injected procaine into a vein of upper limb between two tourniquets. Epidural anesthesia. Perdinand and Catelin introduced epidural anesthesia by blocking the lowest sacral and coccygeal nerves by injecting local anesthetic through sacral hiatus in 1901. Single shot lumbar epidural anesthesia was described in 1921 by Fidel Pages. The loss of resistance technique was described by H.E. Togilotti in 1933 followed by which Alberto Gutierrez described the hanging drop technique in 1949 Martinez Curbelo of Havana used to hoist needle and urethral catheter to perform the first continuous epidural anesthesia brachial plexus block brachial plexus block was first performed by two famous surgeons halster in 1884 and kreil in 1887 first percutaneous brachial plexus block was performed by herschel and hulem kaff subclavian perivascular block was performed by vinnie and collins in 1964 local anesthesia In 1880 cocaine was isolated by Neiman. In 1884 Dr. Karl Kohler used cocaine for topical anesthesia for eye surgery. In 1905 procaine was introduced by Einhorn and in 1940 lignocaine by Nils Lofgren but anesthetic property was described by T. Gaud. Local anesthesia in 1957 mepivacaine in 1963 bupivacaine in 1996 ropivacaine and in 1999 levobupivacaine were introduced intravenous anesthesia barbiturates the first barbiturate barbital was synthesized in 1903 by herman ml fisher and joseph von mering after 1932 the first short acting oxybarbiturate hexobarbiturate was used in europe and north asia 
thiopental. This sulfate containing barbiturate proved to be more satisfactory, potent, and rapidly acting. Sodium thiopental was the first intravenous anesthetic synthesized by Ernst H. Wolvier and Taburn, first used by Ralph M. Waters in Wisconsin. In 1962, ketamine was synthesized by Calvin Stephen at Park Davis Laboratory. In 1964, etomidate was described by Paul Jensen with key advantage of minimal hemodynamic depression and released in 1972. Propofol, 2,6-di isopropyl Propyl phenol was synthesized in chemical industry in 1977 and released in 1986. Anesthesia Equipment James Tallo Guatme was a pioneer of early anesthetic devices for medical use. The first anesthesia machine appeared following the Morton public demonstration in 1846. Gas machines emerged in 20th century following the application of anesthetic flow independent of patient's inspiratory effort. Boyle's machine. Boyle's machine was invented by Henry Edmund Gaskin Boyle in 1917. His machine was a modification of Guatme apparatus of 1912 and it became the best known early continuous flow anesthesia machine. Boyle's machine in India. On 22nd January 1935, the first Boyle's apparatus arrived in Calcutta. It had fine adjustment valves and water side feed bottle for ether, two-way stop cork for breathing and non-breathing, carbon dioxide absorber and four cylinders for oxygen and nitrous oxide. Laryngoscopy In 1871, the German surgeon Frederick Trendlenburg published a paper describing the first successful human tracheostomy with administration of general anesthesia. In 1880, William McEwen used orotracheal intubation as an alternative to tracheostomy. Alfred Kirstein performed the first direct laryngoscopy and described the direct visualization of vocal cords. Kirstein, an ENT surgeon, invented Jackson laryngoscope which has U-shaped handle and O-shaped flange. In 1913, Janeway designed the laryngoscope with straight blade and battery handle. Miller invented straight laryngoscope blade for orotracheal intubation in 1941. Sir Robert Reynolds Macintosh achieved significant advances in techniques for tracheal intubation by introduction of new curved laryngoscopy in 1943. In 1993, E.P. McCoy and R.K. Mirakur introduced the McCoy laryngoscope blade for glottic manipulation. Sir Ewan Whiteside McGill and anesthetist E. Stanley Robotham developed the technique of awake blind nasal intubation. He invented the McGill angulated forceps. Goodell's airway. In 1933, Arthur Goodell described non-traumatic pharyngeal airway to maintain patency of the airway and prevent tongue fall. Goodell's airway of various sizes are now available. History of intubation. In 1667, Robert Hooke at Royal Society in London ventilated a dog for over an hour with a pair of bellows tied into trachea. This led to a concept of tracheal intubation. Endotracheal intubation. In 1871, Frederick Trendlenburg came up with cuffed tube similar to present-day tracheostomy tube. William McEwen, a surgeon in 1878, placed a metal tube into trachea for use of chloroform to anesthetize the patient. It was the first time that endotracheal intubation was performed. Tracheal tubes. In 1885, Joseph O. Dwyer metal laryngeal tube. In 1900, Franz Kuhn created endotracheal tube from a wire spiral with rubber. In 1910, Durans and then Goodell and Waters in 1928 described the cuffed rubber orotracheal tubes. Later, many modified tubes were designed like uncuffed tube, microcuffed tube, south pole and north pole tubes by Ring, Adair and Elwin. In 1950s, PVC, rubber and silicone type flexometallic tubes with metal or nylon spiral reinforcing wire were introduced. Inhalational agents Nitrous oxide in 1772 by Joseph Priestley, Humphrey Davy and Horace Wells. Ether by Crawford Williamson later demonstrated by Morton. Chloroform by James Simpson and John Snow. Ethyl chloride by Mary Jean Perry Florence. Cyclopropane August Freund. Human trial by Ralph M. Waters. Later, fluorinated inhalational agents like halothane, methoxyfluorane, enfluorane, isoflurane, sevoflurane, and desflurane. 
muscle relaxants Harold Griffith introduced drug from curare intocostrin to facilitate endotracheal intubation during cyclopropane anesthesia Bovet synthesized succinylcholine in 1949 and released in 1951 Muscle relaxants vecuronium in 1980 atracurium in 1983 rocurodium in 1994 cis atracurium in 1995 and rapacurium in 1995